Thrive presents 10 simple things I did to gain 15 kilograms of muscle. Just copy these. So, hello and welcome. I'm Mohamed Ayad. I'm the guy who created the channel. And my main goal with this channel is to basically help young men to build their dream physiques. That's all I do for a living, basically. I just love fucking helping guys build their dream physiques. And so if that's something you're interested in, make sure to subscribe and like this video. And mainly just because this channel does fucking upload a lot of these fucking videos. And that's kind of the whole purpose of this channel, anyway. So... A little bit of stuff about me. So this is my fucking fitness journey. I basically just used to be this fucking fat kid who then realized, you know, that that that's not fucking good for him. What he's doing is eating all this fucking junk food. He's only all these fucking chocolates and stuff. And so he basically just shut up and, and tried to fucking skim down as best as possible. And in a couple of fucking months, he turned to the fucking skinniest thing in the world, this fucking thing. And then this guy basically realized that that wasn't good either because he was just ultra fucking skinny. And so he basically bulked up and he built his dream physique. That's basically the whole fucking fitness journey. And so this is why I can help you because I've basically gone through it all. This is like a whole bunch of fucking years like that basically have went by that I've been able to accomplish all this stuff. And so this is why I can help you. And so I have a promise to you in this video. I'll give you the 10 simple things that builds me 15 like kilograms of muscle. That fucking crazy. And so... Before we get into this video, I do just kind of want to tell you about this thing that truly I can't not tell you about. It's a Thrive Protocol. And basically, this is like the ultimate fucking vehicle to get you to your dream physique. If you have a goal of building your dream physique, which you probably do because you clicked on this video, this is the ultimate vehicle. This is the ultimate way, the newest fucking, greatest fucking way to get your dream physique. And basically, this Thrive Protocol is like, it's it's just basically full of fucking features and different stuff that first, like initiates you from the aspect of, of your brain where you understand certain things, but then it also initiates you physically to build your dream physique. And so this is truly like some of the greatest fucking things to get your hands on. And as the ultimate fucking like way to build your dream physique. And so if you're interested in building your dream physique, I also I like fucking add in a whole bunch of fucking guarantees. Like this program literally guarantees to build your dream physique. And I have multiple different stuff to like back up the fucking guarantee that I've Please, which is, it's a fucking heavy guarantee. To say that I'll help you, like, that this program, if you stick to it for 12 months, will literally build your dream physique. Whatever it may be, like, I don't know what your dream physique may be, but literally, it will help you to build your dream physique, whatever it may be, in 12 months. That is a very heavy guarantee on my end. And yet, this program guarantees it, and it has stuff to back up all that stuff. It's, like, truly, that's just one of the greatest fucking things about it. And so... Basically, if you're interested in building your physique, I leave the full fucking info video, like just the video I made, talking about the features and different stuff about it, as the first link in the description. You can basically just click on that link if you're interested in building your dream physique. And so I built my physique, I built this physique, by simply consistently doing these 10 things that I'm about to fucking give to you. So the first one is training intensely. The amount of times I'd have to just fucking really emphasize this. Train intensely, bro. You are nowhere near intense, like in, in like training with true intensity. It's like you only get to see these things when you actually start watching bodybuilders, which is you know our tenth point for this video. But basically, training intensely relies on you basically just destroying whatever muscle you're hitting. Like, let's say today you have arms. You better go to the gym today and destroy arms. You go and you cannot even fucking extend your arm because your bicep's so fucking pumped. I'm talking your tricep is so pumped that you literally don't know how to position it because it just hurts everywhere. This is how intense you need to be training. And don't worry about overtraining, by the way. Overtraining doesn't really exist. It's just fucking like a myth that fucking happened. It does actually exist. But the thing is, nobody fucking reaches it. It's so fucking rare to find someone who actually overtrains. And so, train intensely. Don't fear overtraining. Just train intensely. Make sure that you actually fucking put in the fucking work. Literally, like, train to the point where you, like, you just can't even fucking feel your arm anymore. And it's like, this is what I call training intensely. And people underestimate the word failure. They're like, oh, you know, I take all my sets to failure. They think failure is you just not being able to lift the weight. But now, is is that really true? Because after a couple of minutes, you'll, you'll be able to lift that weight. So then that means failure is something a bit more further than that, which is basically like you not even being able to lift any weight because your chest is so sore. And so this is the ultimate fucking thing. This is the ultimate fucking, like, just way of trying to fucking train is that you need to understand that you're not training intensely enough and that you should increase your intensity. 
And that's the fucking key thing. This is like why I place it as number one. Now, the second one is tracking calories. Now, tracking calories is different from eating calories, but you need to track calories. The amount of times that I come across people in the gym, and they're like, I'm like, you know, like, how long have you been in the gym? It's like, oh, you know, six months and stuff. I'm like, oh, that's pretty cool. But it's like, oh, you know, like, you're, you, how, like, how, how much progress have you made stuff? And it's like, oh, you know, I actually haven't made any progress. Or like, it's, it's very minuscule. It's very little. And I don't know, like, it's, it's, I've, I've, like, I don't know. It's like I've been training intensely. I've been doing everything right. I don't know. I've been not. I've not been making any progress. And I'm like, have you been tracking your calories? And it's always a no. It's always a fucking no. And it's like the amount of times that I have to fucking emphasize this to people. It's like you have to track your calories. The moment you start tracking your calories is the moment that you guarantee you will make progress. The moment that you stop tracking your calories, you guarantee that you'll probably not make any progress. Because guess what? Tracking calories basically guarantees it's like a metric it's like the ultimate fucking metric it guarantees that you will fucking gain whatever you want to gain you want to gain 15 kilograms of muscle you will gain those 15 like kilograms of muscle you want to lose 10 like kilograms of fat you will lose those 10 kilograms of fat if you commit to the calories because it's just an an input output equation and so this is why tracking calories is so key and if you don't know how to track your calories basically just download a, an app called my fitness pal and then put in all the info that you have and your goals and stuff and it will give you a certain calories to eat and you will eat those calories that simple so the third thing is eating your calories and it's like the amount of times that i come across people and they're like oh you know i'm eating 3500 calories and that's like that's what i'm supposed to eat but i'm like are you actually eating them and i go through their like history of their like my fitness pal app and it's like they don't fucking eat those calories they just have them as like, oh, you know, I, I, I have 3,500 calories to eat, but they don't actually eat them. And so our main point here is you need to be eating your calories. You have 300, 500 calories to bulk up with. Well, then eat those calories. 3,500, well, just eat those. It's like if you have a certain number of calories you know you should be eating, then why would you not eat it? seems kind of stupid and so really the main thing is basically like it's like the thing is about calories they're the difficult thing they're the thing that is behind the scenes it's like there's always this like the thing that's like the, the part of the iceberg that's showing up above the sea and then there's like the part that's under and it's like calories are the thing that's under they're the thing that's hidden like nobody shows you them eating their calories and like they have to fucking stay till 3 a.m and then eat four fucking nutella sandwiches and drink like two fucking liters of fucking milk Nobody shows you that shit, but that's the shit that actually fucking requires the fucking commitment. So calories are fucking key here. Now, the fourth thing is sleeping till full. You need to be sleeping till full. If you're not sleeping till you are literally full, that like till you cannot sleep anymore, then you probably aren't sleeping enough. And sleep is literally like the vital thing. Like there's a whole fucking like there are three pillars to building your dream physique and it's training intensely. Your calorie side of things, your, your bulking, cutting type fucking diet thing. And then it's rest. And rest is all fucking sleep. It's sleep, and then a part of it, I'd say, is probably protein. That simple. So sleeping till full is literally like the whole fucking pillar of you building your, like your dream physique. And so you need to fucking emphasize it well. Sleep well. That's really the main thing. Sleeping eight hours plus would be a, a good rule. But if you could genuinely, like, if you really want to go full in, try and sleep as much as possible till you literally cannot sleep anymore. That's the fucking best, like, kiss, like best case scenario, basically. So the fifth thing is tracking your progress, and it's mainly for motivation. You'd be quite surprised, but the amount of people who quit after their first month is significant, and it's because they don't know how to track their progress. A lot of those guys have actually made a lot of fucking progress, but they just don't know how to track it. They didn't step on the scale. They didn't like check their arm metrics. They didn't fucking measure like how much their arm was when they first started, and then like after their first month, how to how like how much growth did it actually fucking get? They don't fucking measure their calories. It like. People need metrics. They need something to measure with. And the thing is, when you track your progress, you literally just, you give yourself such a fucking push. Like, I remember my bulk last year was between, I'd say, August last year till about December. And that bulk was fucking amazing. It got me so much of the fucking size that I have today. And that bulk, I used to basically wake up every single day at 5 a.m., and I'd step on the scale immediately. Like, I'd go to the bathroom, and then I'd just step on the scale right off immediately, as soon as I woke up. And the amount of motivation I got, because every single day, I was seeing the scale move upward, was just amazing. 
Because I got so much motivation. I was like, you know, I'm actually putting in the work and I'm getting what I fucking put the work in for. And so this is like, this was the ultimate fucking motivation thing for me. And after a while, I started measuring, like getting arm measurements and stuff. And I was just so motivated. Like every single couple of while, I'd see like a bit of an increase on the fucking like, um, like little fucking metric little thing like that you just fucking put around your arm. And it was very fucking exciting. It got me a lot of fucking motivation. And it kept me going on and believing in the progress that I'm making. And so that's really something that you should be considering. Get a scale. Get like a fucking like that fucking weird like meter thing that you just fucking like put around your fucking um your your arm or like your basically just to fucking measure like how big certain like limbs are on you. So yeah. And the sixth thing is basically utilizing the protein window. And basically, the protein window is after your workout with about an hour, you can basically maximize the amount of gains by drinking a protein shake immediately or as soon as possible. In that hour range of you, like after the workout, you can basically, if you drink a protein shake, you will basically guarantee a lot more gains. And so basically, you need to utilize the protein window. Just drink a protein shake within the next hour after your workout. And that will basically like guarantee the protein window and will help you to utilize the protein window, which is amazing. Now, the seventh thing is utilizing the muscle protein synthesis. Basically, the muscle protein synthesis is like the clock for you building muscle. So basically, I'll try to fucking explain this as best as possible for you. I'll explain it with fucking loom uh, fucking uh, thing. So basically, you as you go on with your day, oh fuck. As you go on with your day, you have a clock when you eat something. And then it just kind of goes down. When you don't eat something. So basically, the something is protein. When you eat protein, your muscle, like ability to build muscle goes up. But then if, if, like after a while, if you don't eat protein, it'll go down. And your ability to build muscle will go down. So basically, that's kind of how your day would look like. And that'll just kind of go down because of your sleep. And then kind of go back up. That's basically the whole fucking thing. So basically, what we're really trying to fucking say here is, you need to utilize the muscle protein synthesis. You need to basically be able to eat protein around the clock. And this means basically every, so basically like, as soon as you wake up, if you don't want to eat a big fucking meal of protein, you would basically just drink a protein shake. Now you can basically drink a protein shake as soon as you wake up and then you can have a, a big meal, like a pre-workout meal, let's say, after, let's say like three hours or something, like maybe you, like it's, it's work for you that you prioritize as the first thing in your, in your day or something. And so then after that, you would basically have a big meal after you're done with the work. And basically, so like what I'm really trying to say here is, you need to be having protein every three hours. Every three hours, you have protein. Either that by a way of a, of a big fucking snack or a protein shake. That simple. Utilize the fucking protein synthesis and you will maximize muscle building. Now, the eighth thing is taking pre-workout. And it's just the fucking best fucking intensity hack that was ever fucking given to me. When you take pre-workout, you maximize the pump because it has l citrulline Most pre-workouts do. You maximize your energy because you have fucking caffeine in there. You have fucking beta alanine and you're getting your fucking strength push. Pre-workout is literally some of the greatest fucking things that you can get your hands on for your intensity. And so when we're talking about maximizing our intensity and training intensely and stuff, this is the ultimate fucking hack for it. Taking pre-workout. And so maybe like for you, it's, it's quite fucking difficult. You don't want to fucking spend money on, on pre-workout. Maybe like you're doubting pre-workout. By the way, like it's completely safe. I've been taking pre-workout for the last fucking, like, six months, it's, like, it's pretty fucking safe. It's not, there's nothing wrong with it. And by the way, just so I can fucking, really fucking try to push this onto you, you actually will realize that you'll put on more muscle while you're using pre-workout, just because the beta alanine actually does help quite a lot. It makes you lift up, like, a whole bunch of fucking weight, and also your intensity goes up, so that's actually pretty fucking amazing. And just to fucking really maximize it, the reason people die from pre-workout is just because they use three scoops or more. So just always keep the fucking, like, stay in the safe zone, just take one scoop and if you feel like the effects of your pre-workout are kind of going down unless you don't really care about the energy so look if you don't care about the energy just keep fucking taking it because your pump will stay the same but if you do get used to the energy you can basically like just cut it out for the next like two weeks and then you can basically just go back onto it and like the effects will go back so taking pre-workout that's kind of one of the best things you can do yourself now the last thing is taking creatine and for the last thing actually so yeah the ninth thing taking creatine it's just too good. It basically maximizes the fucking amount of um, weight that you can push around. The last two reps, it helps you to complete those, and it just makes you look fuller. Like, the amount of times that people are like, oh, you know, creatine is so fucking amazing and stuff. It's like, it's because it is. And I was like, I get a lot of fucking guys, like beginners, who are like, oh, should I be taking creatine and stuff? And my answer is always, yes. Take creatine. It's so fucking amazing. And I was like, 
people are like, oh, yeah, but, but shouldn't I, like, wait for, like, after my first month passes? Actually, you don't. You just gotta fucking take it. It's like, it's such a fucking amazing thing. There are no, like, side, like, side effects to, to taking it. It'll increase your test, which means you'll put on more muscle easily. There are so much fucking things to creatine that will fucking help you. That I would not see a reason why not to take it. And take it as early as possible to maximize the amount of effects that you'll be getting from it. It's just that fucking good. Now, the last thing is learning continuously. And the reason I add Sam Sulik onto there is because, truthfully, the amount of times that I get asked, like, how are you so knowledgeable at the gym? It's like, it's just because I keep learning about the gym. Like, even as I teach you these things, I still learn. I still, like, learn from the fucking professional. I, I still fucking look at fucking Sam Sulik. I still fucking ask the fucking questions. I'm, a, like, I'm a lifelong student and a lifelong, like, teacher. That's kind of how it is. And so you need to be learning, con like, continuously. Just as I build my knowledge base, you need to be, l like, building yours. And so just as this video has benefited you, perhaps a lot of fucking other videos would benefit you as well. And so preferably you would not try and have shiny object syndrome. So don't try and learn from a lot of different creators. So that's why I'll basically give you one creator you can basically learn from me, or you can learn from Sam Sulik. Sam Sulik is the guy I learned from personally. He's just fucking too knowledgeable at the gym, and his videos are enjoyable, and basically, it's just the ultimate fucking win-win situation. So, do watch Sam Sulik, he's fucking amazing, and you can also watch my videos if this video, like, has definitely benefited you and stuff. And so, <laughs> if I filled my promise, make sure to subscribe, make sure to like this video, and then again, do check out the Fright Protocol if you want to build your own physique, and if you commit to the work, you'll be getting the results.